He's left to everything. Oh my goodness. <laughs> English author Thomas Hardy was one of the most popular novelists of the 19th century. So it was undoubtedly natural that his work would be fodder for the new art form known as the cinema. Uh, his most enduring titles, Tess of the D'Urbervilles probably, and Far From the Madding Crowd, this week's film. This new, fabulous, Far From the Madding Crowd was directed by Danish filmmaker Thomas Vinterberg, originally of that Dogma 95 crowd. Well, I guess you can forget that stuff about no artificial lighting or special effects. Those aren't real sheep going over that cliff and, you know, falling on the rocks in that scene. A dazzlingly lit and photographed Carrie Mulligan is this film's Bathsheba Everdeen. And she's a glorious proto-feminist figure in this 19th century pastoral England who declares her independence from marriage and her desire to run her farm and her staff, which she has inherited, by herself. But after rejecting the awkward proposal of rough-hewn shepherd Gabriel Oak, played by Belgian actor Matthias Schoenartz, and rejecting prosperous neighboring landowner, played by Michael Sheen, Bathsheba falls for the spectacularly good-looking man in uniform, Sergeant Troy. Jim Sturridge in a role played by Terence Stamp in the Schlesinger film. But he's a rake and a ne'er-do-well. This isn't going to end well. Already an art house hit, this new Far From the Matting crowd is lushly photographed and superbly acted, especially by Mulligan, whose Bathsheba Everdeen is far superior to her recent Daisy Buchanan. By all means, take this journey to a pastoral romantic 19th century England and see what happens to Bathsheba. If I ever were to marry, I'd want somebody to tame me and you'd never be able to do it.